Greetings from the road. It's Tuesday near closing time at the LeMay Family Collection. Doug is nice enough to open the door here for me. And I'm gonna take you inside, which I, I think is the most incredible building here. And I'm just gonna be uncharacteristically quiet and walk. Now, I always thought, and I'm incorrect, I always thought there was talk that uh, Mr. LeMay would pay his guys to find cars when they were out collecting the garbage. And I, I was told that's not true. Everything that you see here was purchased, either at auction or from private parties. It didn't come by the way of referrals from the guys out collecting the rubbish. And uh, I never got to meet Mr. LeMay. I always wish I would have. Mike Conrad, who couldn't be here, came here when he was a little boy with his mom and dad once a year when they opened up. And uh, Mrs. LeMay would serve cookies and iced tea and lemonade. And he'd hold his dad's hand and he'd walk through here. And now he's a pretty active volunteer. He keeps his Model T's here. And so many people are just really motivated to help out here. They have very minimal paid staff, a lot of volunteers here. This is my favorite museum in the country. I don't get to visit here enough. This is my favorite building. This is where the larger vehicles are stored. And I thought I'd just give you that background. I was gonna shoot this live, but the internet access is kinda iffy in here. So instead I'm gonna do this, and you're gonna see it on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. And I've just never seen anything like this. I, I, I think Mr. LeMay favored trucks over other types of vehicles. He favored certain years of a certain brand, but he basically collected anything and everything. Now this building is only accessible when there's a docent available to show you. You can't come in here unescorted for obvious reasons. So that's why I wanted to come here today to make sure I could get in. I just dropped off a couple of Volkswagens, literally less than two miles away. So how could I not come over here? I'm still kind of sweaty from that. But this is just, any one of these vehicles, I could stop and probably get a 15 minute story about them. And they're all exceptional. If you like cab overs, what do you think of that? This is just absolutely, this is unparalleled. And then you have the racks that seem to go on and on and on. There's Harold's tow vehicle, his trailer's behind it. Everything is packed in here. We're gonna come down this other row. 
The first time I came here and I visited with Mike, he met me with a Model T. We toured the property and after three hours, I was just overwhelmed. I couldn't take any more in. So you're seeing Harold's trailer and that's a garage door. That's his Suburban. For those of you that remember Lucky Food Stores, I believe that's one of their signs. Tomorrow, Washington lifts their mass restrictions, which is fortuitous because I'm going to be trying to do the live feed tomorrow. Here's the restoration storyboard. This vehicle was originally with the Los Angeles police and it was a Hollywood movie truck. Check it out. 1940 Chevrolet panel paddy wagon. Two hundred and sixteen inch cubic inch displacement, inline six. Not a real powerful vehicle. He got everything here. <clears throat> then he got the racks. Would you look at that tow truck? Boy, is that gorgeous. Got a 1909 Perry Model 42 touring car right there, which is a huge touring car. 1910 Pope Hartford. Model T, huge touring car. This used to be on the main floor under a neon sign. Last time I was here, look at that pocket door. And then all around you, you got the cars up on the racks. It's pretty warm in here today. 
Here's an 81 Ford Durango. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. 56 Chevy Bel Air. Got a double decker English bus. Again, this particular building, you can only see this with a docent. So docents are here every day. So if you wanna see the contents of this, they call it the white building, you've gotta call ahead and make an appointment or make sure there's gonna be a docent available to take you in here because you can't come in here unescorted. Here's a 1930 Packard. I'm gonna come over here, look at the bottle jacks. This is just all full of jacks. It's a Mayflower moving van. Got a big fire truck here. Look at the rack. Would you just look at the rack? Sixty four Studebaker wagon. I hauled one of these with the retractable roof. This one's in better shape. I hauled one of these from the uh, NATMUS National Automotive Transportation Museum. Studebaker was very innovative. That's a slide roof. Those were notorious for leaking. And uh, Natmus had it set up with a refrigerator in the back. There's a 15 Model T up there, sitting next to an 81 Puma Standard two-door coupe and a 1950 Tempo hand seat. Got a Mercedes open limo, Seagrave fire truck. <sighs> 53 Chrysler, town and country, 24 Studebaker light six. Here's a Stanley Steam thrown in for good measure. 1910. Here's a 17 Dort Roadster. Got a little bit of a break here. 33 Cadillac. 66 Pontiac Catalina. Where the hell else are you going to sit at Pontiac Catalina sitting next to a 33 Cadillac? And above that is a 60 Ford Zodiac Mark II, which I've never heard of. And above the Pontiac Catalina is a 1941 Lincoln two door. There's an armored car. This looks like an REO. Yep. 1913, five passenger to touring car. Everybody's gotta have a Thunderbird. Here's a 63. Here's a 37 Chrysler Royal Convertible. Now there's over, normally there's over 300 vehicles in here, but I think right now there's more than that. They've got a lot of stuff packed in. Here's a 16 Rio, another one. There's one of the LeMay garbage trucks. Here's Harold's trailer. He made this trailer. He's still got cars on it. He would actually go out and collect on this trailer, which this is like a four car hauler full-size car hauler, maybe a five-car hauler, and he'd pull it with the Suburban. We'll get to that in a minute. Here's a 31 Ford Model A next to a 56 Pontiac Star Chief. Got a 46 Hudson Commodore 8. 57 Austin Princess. 69 Lincoln Mark III. 56 Bentley underneath a 62 Pontiac Bonneville. 
and you got a Dukes of Hazard car. The General Lee 69 Dodge Charger. <sighs> 56 Citron, 51 Nash, 23 Pierce Arrow, 63 Chrysler, So this was Harold's tow vehicle, this Suburban. He would go out and get cars in this. Can you imagine seeing this go down the road? Here's a 68 Chevy Chevelle SS, 31 Frontenac. Here's Battery Bob's Model T Garage. We visited here before. This is where they work on the Model T's. The lights are off there. Got a motorcycle with a sidecar. An old Oldsmobile. So again, the Lene family collection, there's nothing like it in the world, I don't think. Uh, I never got to meet Mr. LeMay. I happened upon this place long after he had passed. His son is still active, Doug. He's still collecting a little bit. But you have to come down here. You have to pay a visit and you have to spend at least half a day. This is just freaking incredible. How the hell did I miss this? What the hell is this? It's big. It's really big. Wow. This is an 83 Duesenberg. The 460 V8. Wow. Well, I'm gonna make my way back because they're just about to close up. Again, it won't be this way when you come in. Every time I come in, it's different. Right now, they're using this as overflow. So it's normally not this packed. Heck, there's probably 350 cars at least in here. That's a cool wagon. That's a very nice example too. It's a 1930 Packard. Forty one Plymouth. Special Deluxe Coupe. Thirty nine Cadillac. Again, the LeMay family collection. This is a Kaiser. That's what they had in the gym last time I was here. But in this tow truck, what a hoot. Look at that, the taillight folds down. But again, this is not like anything you've ever seen. For you folks overseas, if you come to Seattle, come down to Tacoma, see this. This is a must see for any car collector. It doesn't matter what you collect, what you're into. I don't know how I missed this. This is a 1910 Sears Model P motor buggy. That's rare. That's a big old Sears buggy. I've never seen one that big before. Okay, so I'm gonna 
wrap it up here. Again, come down here. Visit this place. I mean, it's very, very inspirational. It is for me. Just had record heat yesterday. It's cooled off today. You're being very patient with me. Here's a 10 Model T delivery van. There's a 1910 Columbia two-ton flatbed truck. I'm gonna skedaddle. I'm gonna be here tomorrow shooting the other buildings, but I wanted to get this out of the way. I just can't get enough of this place. The LeMay Family Collection at Marymount. Everybody, have a good day.